Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple cookie clicker game in HTML and JavaScript. First thing we're going to do is create a folder for this project and just name it whatever you like. And after that, we're going to open our favorite code editor. And if you don't have a code editor like Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm going to be using for this video, then I highly recommend getting one because it'll make your life so much easier. So I'll leave a link to Visual Studio Code in the description below. But once you have that all downloaded and ready to go, you'll see a screen just like this. And you're going to hit the open folder button, and then you're going to open that folder you just created. Now we're going to make two files, an index.html file and a script.js file. Now once we get into the index file, you're going to hit exclamation mark and then tab, and then that will make a lot of the basic essential tags for an HTML document. So we're just going to change the title to cookie clicker game, and then we're going to link our script right at the bottom of our body tag using script src. And since it's in the same folder, we don't need to specify the folder, we can just say the name of the script. After that, we're going to make our cookie button. This is going to be the button that you press to get cookies every time. And then we're just going to make an ID that we can call later in our JavaScript. And then the text in the middle is what the button is actually going to say when you view an HTML. After that, we're making our div uh, for our cookie display. This is kind of just a container element. We're just using it to uh, display text. So it's just going to say how many cookies they have. Right now, they're going to have zero cookies, so it says you have zero cookies. And then we're going to make our two other buttons. Uh, one button is going to be to upgrade the clicker, and then the other button is going to be to purchase an auto clicker. So make note of the IDs you make because you'll need them in your JavaScript code. And by the way, feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. So once you have your buttons fully finished to how you like them, uh, just open that folder you made and open that index file. And that should open your web browser and you'll see something that should look just like this. Click here button, an upgrade clicker button, and a purchase auto clicker button. Now that means we're already done with all of our HTML code, so we're going to switch right over to JavaScript and we're going to start calling our divs and our buttons. So uh, first, we'll start with the cookie button. Let cookie button equals document dot get element by ID. Um, that's getting that ID that you set earlier, which is the cookie button. And then we're just going to repeat that exact same process for the other three elements that you have. So those two other buttons and then the cookie display. So once we're done with that, we're going to make the variables for the game. So we're going to start with cookies, which is your actual currency equals zero. Then we're going to have the multiplier, which is how much each click is worth. That's going to be one. And then we're going to have the multiplier cost, and that's going to be 25. And then the amount of auto clickers you have, we're just going to start that at zero. And then the auto clicker cost, and I'm going to set that to 15. After that, we're going to make our most simple function for this game. And all it's going to do is display the amount of cookies you have. So I'm just going to call it display cookies amount. And all this has to do is call the cookie display dot inner text. And then we're going to set that equal to what we want it to say. So you have, and then we're going to insert the cookies variable and then cookies. So those plus signs just say that that is getting added to that string. Now we're going to make it so that when you click the cookie button, you actually get cookies. So cookie button dot add event listener, and it's going to be listening for a click. And when it gets clicked, it's going to call this function right here. Now all we have to say that cookies are going to plus equals the multiplier, which is just saying that we're adding the multiplier onto the cookies. And then we're going to display the cookie amount. And that's seriously it. So for my peace of mind, I'm going to double check and make sure that it's working. And as you can see, when I click, I'm getting cookies. So I'm going to go back into Visual Studio Code, and we're going to make the upgrade clicker script. This will make it so that when you click the cookie, uh, you'll get more than one cookie every time. So uh, when they click the upgrade clicker button, we're going to check if they have enough cookies to make this purchase. Uh, so if their cookies is greater than or equal to the multiplier cost, then it's going to run this piece of code. If not, then we're going to alert them that they don't have enough cookies. All right, so back to if they have enough cookies, then their amount of cookies is going to be subtracted by the multiplier cost. And then we're going to increase the multiplier cost by 1.3 times. So that's going to be times equals 1.3. 
Then we're going to increase the multiplier by 1. So you can do that just by doing a multiplier plus plus. And we've done it. So we just got to display the cookies amount. And then we're going to go into the upgrade clicker dot inner text. And we're just going to update it so it shows the new cost for the multiplier. So um, I'm just going to do exactly what was already in the HTML. Upgrade clicker 4 and then insert the multiplier cost and then cookies. And that's it. After that, we're going to make almost the exact same function for the auto clicker. So if you wanted to, you really could just copy and paste the upgrade clicker, but I'm just going to do it by hand. So once again, we're going to check if they have enough cookies. And this time, instead of the multiplier cost, it's going to be the auto clicker cost. And then we are going to uh, subtract our cookies by the cost once again. And this time I'm going to multiply the auto clicker cost by a slightly smaller number uh, just to make it feel you know, maybe slightly more accurate for the actual game. Uh, then we're going to add one to our auto clicker and we're going to display our cookies amount and then update the text for the auto clicker just like how we did it for the upgrade clicker. And post recording, I do want to mention that I forgot the else alert. It's not really a huge deal to miss. Uh, when I click the button, if I don't have enough cookies, absolutely nothing will happen. And after that, we're just going to test that those two functions work. So as you can see, when I click the button uh, and then purchase the upgrade clicker, we're going to get twice as many cookies, so that's working perfectly. And then I'm going to click that one more time, and as you can see, the price is going up, so that's working as well. And then the auto clicker, on the other hand, is not going to do anything after we click it. It should update the price, and it should take our cookies, but that's going to be it because we haven't done anything with that variable yet. So we get to use this really cool function called set interval, and we do set interval function, after the function, we're going to do a comma, and here's where we put in millisecond amounts how often we want this function to execute. So 1,000 is going to be 1 second, so I'm going to do 1,000 divided by 6, so that means it's going to happen 6 times a second. And in this function, we're going to say that our auto clickers are going to get added to our cookies, and to make it feel like our cookies aren't getting added too quickly, I'm going to multiply the auto clickers by 0.1. And once again, it's going to be really easy. All we have to do is display the cookies amount, and that function is 100% done. We're going to open the index and just make sure that works. So we're going to buy an auto clicker, and as you can see, we're adding cookies. Now you may notice that the numbers are just a teensy bit off with all those extra zeros at the very end of the number. This is because JavaScript math is somewhat scuffed. So we're just going to go right back into our script and we're going to add these tiny little snippets of code and it's going to fix it right up. So go onto your cookie display and in front of cookies we're going to do math.round and then put cookies in parentheses and in the parentheses we're going to do times 100 and then divide by 100. That rounds that to two decimal places so however many zeros you have on the 100 is going to be how many decimal places you want to do. So I'm going to do that to the other two uh, displays for the upgrade clicker and auto clicker, uh, just because eventually that same issue is going to happen to those as well. So it's always good practice to round the numbers because JavaScript does have a few quirks. And as you can see, I'm going to just show this one more time. We're going to have normal numbers now, and it's going to be perfect. And with that, you've made a cookie clicker game. But before we end off, if you've had any errors and you haven't been able to figure out what's wrong, I highly recommend checking the inspect element. I'm going to make an issue real quick here, just as an example. And as you see, when I run the game, I'm, you know, something's not going to go right, and I'm not going to know what to do. See, our upgrade clicker button isn't working now. So if you hit inspect, right click and then hit inspect, go to console, a lot of the times, you'll see something helpful for what your error is, more specifically telling you what line it's on. So it may lead to you having to backtrack a bit and checking several lines of code, but the console is by far the most helpful debugging tool when you're having errors in JavaScript. And please, please, please try to fix the problem through the console or by looking through your code before turning to ChatGPT or other AI. It will make your future debugging experience so much better and you will learn how to write the code for yourself and understand the code so much better than if you use AI. But with that, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you were able to make an amazing cookie clicker game. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.